Hey guys, not too long ago, I picked up this ISDT cell balancer because I was a little concerned that my generic cell checker was off a little bit. And I did a video about that and I found out that the generic one was actually kind of close, but there was some gap between the top and, and the bottom. So I decided that the ISDT was a better unit for bench purposes to make sure my batteries were balanced correctly. What I didn't do is talk about all the other stuff that this thing does, and I only recently started digging into that. So stick with me after the break and we'll jump into it. Hey, before I get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I, during the motor testing, a couple of guys have chimed in about requests for additional data. One of the main questions being asked is the pitch speed data. So I'm going to put a little overlay in during post-production editing to show you that I've got, I've collected the data. I went back, looked at the videos, looked at my paperwork, and put, put the data in one place so I've got it. That's the good news. Now the trick is how do I distribute that information? So I do have this in Excel format right now and I'm happy to make that available. I can probably, I think the easiest thing to do is probably put a link on our, the RC Video Reviews website so you can download the spreadsheet if you want to. And um, I'm going to do my best to keep that thing updated as we collect data from the Judge Bench Test Series. So anyway, pitch speed has been added. Other data has been added to clarify. It's got some ability to filter. You can look at the, you can look at the top bar and click one of those filters to apply a filter and say, show me APC props or show me turnigy motors or show me 10 inch props or whatever. Show me amperage between, you know, 20 and 30 amps or show me wattage between 800 and 900. As the material comes in, that that tool will become more and more valuable over time. So anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that I've done the work and I'm capturing the data and I will make it available to you. We'll just, we'll just have to find a place for me to put it. And until then, uh, keep, keep an eye out on the channel and I'll post updates as we move along on where you can get that data. All right, so first off, I did a video where I found this little converter. It's, a, it's basically like a buck converter that will take anything up to 24 volts in and convert it to 5 volts out. It basically turns a LiPo battery into into a charger uh, so you can charge USB devices with it like an iPhone or an Android phone or a GoPro or whatever else you have that you might need charged while you're at the field and I thought this is a really cool idea and I still do it actually works great I keep it in my box and I've used it I've, I've used it at the field since I made it so I'm really happy with that what I didn't realize at the time and I, I may have read about it but I didn't realize it at the time was that this ISDT also has a built-in USB charge function that's actually works. So one of the other things that I picked up recently just to kind of test, I wanted to make sure that my my generic charger did what it said it would do. So I bought this this amp checker and I, I use this in the house too when I buy one of those anchor multi-port USB things and they say oh it can charge at 3.5 amps. I want to make sure. So this little device lets you do that by putting it in line with your charging device. And of course, they never make it easy, right? So that you can't have both displays up at the same time. Of course not. So I have to flip it upside down to put it in, in the ISDT. So with that done, I'm going to go ahead and just show you kind of how this works real quick by plugging in an iPhone cable. And then I'm going to get the I, I'm going to plug in a battery. And this is a four cell. You can use anything you want. You can use a four cell all the way up to a six cell. Uh, but I'm going to use a four cell because that's what I have right in front of me. Actually, I have more. You guys know I have more than that, but what the heck? That's what I have handy. But let me use that four cell and I'm going to plug it into the iPhone. So we just plug it in here, just like anything else, and then you go into this menu and you say USB charge start. And when you do that, there it goes, it's charging. The other thing that's cool about it is it gives you this little readout. It says 5.3 volts out at one amp. So it shows you right there that it's doing one amp, 5.3 watts. And it looks to me like that's a cutoff, 3.3 volts per cell. But then to verify that, I can flip this over. And I'm going to use the small camera here to give you a close look at it. But I can flip that over and get 
the same reading where it shows this, this actually shows one amp at 5.167 volts. And it counts the watts that you're putting in and the time that it's been on and the milliwatts and the milliamp hours. I haven't done a reset, that's why it's still showing this crazy 2459 number. But this little, what I'm really looking at here is the volts and the amps. So yeah, I didn't even, honestly, I didn't know that when I bought the balancer. I bought it because it looked like a good quality balancer. But bonus plan, it charges the phone and it's sitting here charging away at one amp. Yep, and they both read the same thing. Uh, it does say it's up to QC3 compatible, so right now I don't have a USB-C device that requires any juice, so I can't really plug it into anything that'll, that'll create that kind of demand. But hey, look, at one amp, it's a built-in charger. You already got the battery, you got the balance checker, what the heck. Very handy to have, and you can use it in your field box, you can use it on the bench. I, I, I've even done, been out here doing work with a GoPro and run out of battery. So that's just kind of a cool little feature. All right, that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Okay, we've already covered this device's capabilities in terms of verifying balance on cells, and we, we checked it with a voltmeter. If you remember, if you watched that video, I actually checked the voltage on a per cell basis with the voltmeter compared it to this unit, and this unit gave a, gave a very close reading. Another capability this unit has that I knew about when I bought, but I hadn't really played with it too much yet, was the ability for this balancer to actually do the work of balancing your cells. The last time this battery was used, I put it on the storage profile on the charger and hit store, and when it came off, this is this is, what, this is where it came off, 3.83, 3.85, 3 3.84. One of the other advantages of this little ISDT is you can go into the menu system and say, let's balance the cells. And what it does is it's going to go in and it finds the lowest cell. In this case, is 3.832. And that highlights that one in this charcoal or, or gray color. And then it shows these two in red, which means it's going to run those two down until it matches the 3.832. So I can I could sit here and you know kind of let you watch it but that's boring like watching paint dry so I'm not going to bother with that but what I will tell you is that I've used this on the row of batteries on the tray and it works. <laughs> I, I've, I've plugged it in and, and I just turn it on and I come back and check on it half an hour later and when I pull it off those cells are matched. I don't like how it keeps timing out like that. Let's see. I've come back and these cells have been matched to the, the at least the 100th of a volt, probably, probably closer. So anyway, just another feature. So two things that this thing does outside of the normal checks is it functions as a USB charger, which is great uh, for, for when you're at the field and you need a little power. Just take a flight battery that you've used and plug it into this thing and you've got a, you've got a, handy, little, you've got a handy little charger right there at the field. It does the cell balancing routine, so when you click on menu, and you can pick either a USB charge or cell, ba cell balance, and it'll, it'll definitely balance the cells. It'll get them darn close to perfect. And of course, it does the main thing you bought it for, and that's to check balance of your LiPo cells. Okay, so, so far, I, the capabilities of this little device are pretty impressive, and they go far beyond what I really kind of thought I was buying, um, at least in terms of being a USB charger, which is kind of cool. The uh, on the downside, I'll tell you one thing I don't like is the, is the plastic. Let me let me pull, turn this thing off so you can get a look at the screen. This the plastic that they use. It's, it's definitely not Gorilla Glass like you find on a modern phone. And I'm trying to make sure you can see this in the camera. There, it's just kind of it gets scratched real easy. You know, I've been I, I'm pretty careful with this this type of stuff, but it gets scratched real easy. And the plastic, I don't know, it, it feels durable enough, like it doesn't feel flimsy, but um, I guess my, my real beef in terms of longevity is, is maybe they could use something a little harder, uh, some type of material that's a little harder on this screen so it doesn't scratch up as easy. So from a pricing standpoint, it looks like they do a pretty good job managing retail pricing on this. I found it for $29 just about everywhere. I couldn't really find it any cheaper than that, which is kind of humorous because I just got these Turnigy UP610s for 25 bucks, and they're, they're full-on chargers, you know, the full suite of capabilities with those things. Uh, but, you know, that it is what it is, and 
I'd say for the money, it looks like a pretty competent and capable little, little unit. It's, it seems well engineered except for that, that plastic, which is, seems very soft. And uh, yeah. other than that, I kind of like it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I have it and it certainly added some capabilities to my field kit. All right, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys tonight. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's been useful to you, I definitely would appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button down there. And then don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you're told when new material hits a channel. All right, take it easy, guys. Right now, I don't have a USB. Right now, I. We've already kind of covered the ability that. The and then, of course, it does the main thing that you bought it for. And that's, that's the, the, and if it, well, didn't even get that one out. <laughs>